So, Akraw Suhufa, translation, Akraw Suhufa, I read newspapers. This is Jama. Huh? Sahifatun is singular. Suhufa is plural. I read the newspaper. Why do you read newspaper? Bugiatal ittilai. For the aim of knowing. For the aim of knowing. For the aim of, for the reason of, or for the purpose of uh, uh, getting the information. Okay? Ala ahwalil muslimin. On the conditions of, on the state of Muslims, fil alim. Eh? So that I know what is the state of, condition of Muslims in the world. Eh? Fine, brother. Number six, la azalu. What is the meaning of la azalu? Who, who can tell me the meaning of la azalu? I continue. <laughs> what is it? Remember, la azalu is, I continue. What is the verb? Zala. Zala. What is Zala? Sister of Kana. Huh? Sister of Kana. Remember. Huh? La Azalu. Huh? Zala is to cease. Huh? To stop. But when you say La Azalu means to continue. It continues. Huh? I continue Albasu wearing Malabisa Saufi. I I continue to wear woolen clothes. Huh? Woolen clothes. Why? Khashiata. Fearing. Huh? And then your mudafile comes. I you see bani. You see bani. Bardu. Okay. What is the verb you see bani? Asaba. Yusibu. Huh? Asaba, Yusibu. To afflict. To befall. When you uh, become sick, what happens? You are afflicted with a disease. Yusibani means, or it should have been Yusibu, but because of an, it is Yusiba. Huh? So that cold should not afflict me. Huh? So I am. I continue, even though there is no need to wear woolen clothes, I continue to wear woolen clothes, fearing uh, that the cold will affect me, afflict me, I'll become sick. That is the meaning. Did you get it, brothers and sisters? Khashiata and Yusibani, Asaba Yusibu. Did I write down Asaba Yusibu? But you know that, huh? Form 4, Asaba Yusibu. Okay. So, Khashyata is your Al Mafulu Lafu. Very good, brothers and sisters. Number 6, Halla Gipta. And Hadi Hilisa. Halla Tashkuhu Ilal Mudir. Halla Harfu Tahdid Watandim. We already read it in the English key. Is a Dahalat. Alal mudariya, if it enters mudariya, fahiya lit addi, urging, encouraging and urging. Alal amali, for the for doing something. Example, halla tazuruni, meaning of it, brothers and sisters, halla tazuruni, tazuru, huh? present and future. How will you translate? You should visit me. Why are you not visiting? Why don't you visit me? You should visit me. So it is an encouraging somebody, or urging somebody to visit you. وَإِذَا دَخَلَتْ عَلَى الْمَعَادِ كَانَتْ لِجَعَلِّ الْفَعِلِ يَنْدَمُ عَلَى فَوَاتِ الْعَمْرِ If it enters Mahdi, then it is for the reason of uh, regretting for the passing of the event or opportunity. Huh? Event. Uh, you can say event. Huh? Or a condition or a situation. Allah ishtahatta. You have failed or you got a very poor grade. So what is it now? It's a regret. Huh? 
So this approval, halla ishtahatta. Meaning, brother and sister, you should have worked hard. The time is past, but you should have worked hard. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Honaka ahrufun ukhra. And there are more words. Lit tahdeed wa tandim. Wahiya Allah ala lauma laula. Now look at the words, brothers and sisters. Lau la. Lau ma. Allah Allah. These are not two words. These are not two words. They are one word. Huh? Remember, make a note of it that these are all one word. Huh? Lawla is one word. Lauma is one word. Everything is one word. Because we are so used to thinking about maybe there are two words in it. Huh? Okay. Here is an example. Allah tadubu min zanbika. See, tatubu. Is it madi mudarya? Mudarya. So then it will be, what will it, will it be, brothers and sisters? It will be urging, encouraging. Allah tatubu min zanbika. Should you not repent to Allah for your mistakes? So you are encouraging somebody to repent to Allah for our mistakes. Should you not repent to Allah for your mistakes? No, of course, brother and sister, Allah is not mentioned. But whom do you repent for mistakes? To Allah only, nobody else. And Allah only can forgive, nobody else. Hati Mufrat. Al-Asma'al ati ati. Give them mufrad after following words. Asabiu. Am I missing something? Huh? What is the asabiu? Isba'u. Huh? Fine. Sawaiku. Sa'ikatun. Junubu. Janbun. Junubu is janbun. Madajia. Madjaun. Sadakatun. Sadakatun. Again, I must remind you and tell you, brothers and sisters, you are so very lucky. You have Hallo Tamari. For book three, and especially all these lessons, you can refer to Hallo Tamari. Keep it next to your studied uh, books, <coughs> and from time to time, refer to it. Inshallah, it will make things very easy for you, Inshallah. Yudhilu kullu talibin da'bi wa da'idani fi jumlatin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you will do it. Da'bi wa da'idani. Are you listening? Da'bi. What is the meaning of it? It is my habit. Uh, my habit is, what is my habit? An anama mubakiran. That I sleep early. That's my habit. Huh? So you can make a, a nice uh, sentence, inshallah. Next one, number nine, brother and sister. Yudhilu kullu talibin halla fi jumlataini. Takunu fil ula lit tahdeed wal ukhra lit tandeem. Inshallah, you'll do it. Halla tazuruni. You should visit me. Okay. Halla ishtahatta. So you can make your own sentence. You can choose something different, brother, inshallah. Okay. As you can see, I'm switching from my books, my old book and my new book. Because when I was studying 10 years ago, brothers and sisters, we did not have the original books that you have. We had only photocopies. Our teacher who had studied in Medina, 
uh, he photocopied his books and it is dated 1990. So, very old books, you know. After that, uh, Dr. Abdurrahim, every five years, he revises them. And if he feels something is to be added, he adds them. And a lot of things have been added since then. Raghvatan fil ilm la rahbatan min al imtihan. Hadhi la al atifatu. Wa yutafu biha li ikharaj al sani mimma dakhala fihi awwalu. Okay, my sister, was shartu ma tu fiha an yakunu mufradan. Ay, gayru jumlatin. Wa yakunu baad al ijabi wal amri. My sisters, <coughs> what is ijabi? Masta, give me the verb. No. It was very easy to make a mistake here. Yeah? If it is ajaba, then the master is ijabatun. This is ijabun. What is the word? This samayamuna. Avjaba. What is the verb? Write down. Avjaba. Are you with me? We have studied. Avjaba huh? yujibu. And then from avjaba, the master will be if jabun and if change into if the vow change into ya and became ijab. Huh? Let me write it down, brothers and sisters. That is your avjaba. Yujibu. And from here, you got the master. Av ja bun. And it changed into. I ja bun. See, kasra and wow, they are not compatible. So wow changed into ya. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. What is the meaning of? Ijabun, affirmation. Affirmation. Huh? So in other words, the condition is that the sentence should be affirmative and or it should be amar. Huh? And it should be singular. Okay. Whether if we try to do the literal translation, sometimes it gets a little confusing. Hadhi la al atifatu wa yutafu biha li ikhraj al sani mimma dakhala fihi awal. The first noun, brother and sister, came in the sentence, and also the second noun also came. But the second noun <coughs> is not part of the verb. Are you with me? Only the first noun is the part of the verb. For example, <coughs> Safara Bilalun. What is the meaning of Safara Bilalun? Bilal, travel. So the, the, the noun <coughs> Safara uh, the file is Bilal, and it is about him, you know. La Muhammadun. So Muhammad is out of that. Huh? Muhammad is out of, uh, Muhammad is the second one. So he is out of that, what the first one is doing. What the first one is doing, the second one is out of it. Huh? Inshallah, you'll, uh, sometimes you, you can understand it. Just looking at the sentence, inshallah. But you will see here, what will you see? There is no harfu atf. There is no vow or fa. There is no negation. It is all affirmation. Or sometimes you will see 
fiel amar. Okay. Because the idea here is one. Ishtarai tu dajaja. Mazbuhatan. What is the meaning of that? I purchased a chicken. In what condition that chicken was? Slaughtered. Huh? La hayyatan. Not a lie. Huh? La, not a lie. Okay, fine. Yes. Isalil mudira. Lal mudarris. Isalil mudira. Ask the headmaster. La al mudarrisa. Not the teacher. Kulil tufah. Kulil tufah. Eat apples. La al mauza. Not the bananas. Alhamdulillah. We finished, brother. Sisters, maybe we'll finish the other lesson too. If you'll revise at home, you will see that it's not difficult. Huh? But we have to continue uh, our steady pace. The next lesson is even more interesting. Huh? We did that Tamiz business in book one, remember? Kam Taliban fi faslikum ya shaykh. Now we are doing it again. We'll start with, brothers and sisters, we will start with key. We'll start with key. Most of the lesson is very easy, extremely easy, and extremely interesting, except for a couple of things. Inshallah, I'll try to explain you slowly, slowly, and inshallah, you will understand it. Okay, brother and sister? Mafulun mutlak. What is mafulun mutlak? It is a master. Al mafulu lahu. What is it? Master. Now tamiz. What is tamiz? Now. It's not master. It is now. That's the difference. Okay. In this lesson, we learn the following. At tamiz. No, tamiz is actually a master itself from mayaza. Mayyaza yumayyizu tamayyiz. Mayyaza. Will you remember? Shall I write it down? Okay, I'll write it down, brothers and sisters. Mayyaza. Master is tamayyizun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? What is the meaning of mayyaza? To specify, okay, to to elaborate. Yes, sister. Oh, you are right, sister. Uh, Mashallah, Jazakila, sister. You might use, huh? you might use a form because it's the four letter, so it has to be Dhamma. Jazakila, sister. It is a noun used to specify. Huh? So Mayyaza means to specify. It is now used to specify and define an indeterminate idea contained in the previous words or in the whole sentence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Sharibtu litran haliban. If I say to you, Sharibtu litran. If I say to you, Sharibtu litran. What does it mean? Hmm? I drank a liter. Liter of what? Then now you have to bring tamis huh? to uh, make it very clear. Huh? Okay, I drank a liter of milk. Huh? The word liter refers to an amount, but the meaning is not complete unless words like water, milk, Oil, etc. Unless words like water, milk, oil, etc. are mentioned. Ibrahimu Ahsanu Minni. Translation, brother. Is better than me. In what way? Then you got to specify. Huh? Ibrahim is better than I with regard to handwriting. There are many things in which one may be better than the other. In this example, the word khattan specifies the particular aspect. 
Tamiz is mansub. There are two kinds of tamiz. Number one, brother and sister, tamiz of that. Okay. Now this is something you will inshallah slowly, slowly memorize it. Huh? Tamiz of that. This comes after words denoting quantity. When you talk about quantity, then the tamiz that you are using is called tamizu zat. There are four kinds of quantity. How many kinds, brothers and sisters? Four kinds of quantities. <clears throat> number one, al adadu. Numbers. Of course, the number describes quantity. From the Quran, brothers and sisters, ya abati. Inni raitu ahada ashara kaukaban. If I say raitu ahada ashara, the idea is not clear. You got to have kaukaban, you bring a tamis to make it clear. Kaukaban, oh my father, I saw in a dream 11 stars. The tamis of number is mansub after 11 to 99. Now here, brothers and sisters, all our knowledge of numbers will become handy. Do you remember? Number 11 to 99, it is Tamiz, it's Mansu. Huh? And then from 3 to 10, the Tamiz becomes Bat Tamiz. <laughs> huh? It becomes Bat Tamiz. Why? Instead of uh, Mansu, it became Majroor, Mudaf Mudaf Ilayhi. But Mudaf Ilayhi is Jama. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, after hundred and thousand, again the Tamiz is Majroor, but it is singular. Huh? So in other words, now in our higher studies, we will understand that Tamiz can come in the form of being Majroor also. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Al Misahatu. What is the meaning of Misahatu? Linear measurement. For example, you say a meter of something. In our olden days, we used to say a yard of something, a mile, a kilometer. What are these, brothers and sisters? These are all linear measurement. Ishtaraitu mitran. I bought a meter. Okay, very good. I'm not sure what did you buy. So then you have to bring the tamiz. Ishtaraitu mitran hariran. I bought one meter of silk. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, then it is kailu. Measure of capacity. You buy milk and other commodities in the form of a packet which, which has a certain amount of uh, milk or other things in it. Huh? So you say Atini Litaraini Give me two liters. Two liters of what? Then you say Haliban. Huh? So give me two liters of milk. So here brothers and sisters Haliban is Tamiz. Are you with me? And you will call it it's uh, Tamiz Zuzat and also you will call it it's a measure of capacity. Huh? Fine, but I'm just and was no. Okay. In the kilogram, I have one kilogram. In the kilogram of what? Burtukal and oranges. But here kilogram, brother and sister, denotes weight. What does it denote? It denotes weight. Huh? I have one kilogram of oranges. Now comes very, very important thing, brothers and sisters. Words resembling words of quantity. Also take tamis. The words itself are not, you know, uh, quantity or measure, but they denote quantity or measure. 
Okay. For example, the word come, how many? When you say how many, it denotes quantity. Huh? How many resembles the number? Huh? Come, bintan, laka. So you have bintan here, it needs a tamiz. How many daughters you have? The second example, brothers and sisters. Okay. Mafis samai. Mafis samai. There is not, there, in the sky there is not, what is not? Kadru rahatin. Brother, rahatin is the palm. Kadru is the size. Ma fis samai kadru rahatin. Sahaban. Sahaban is cloud. There is not in the sky a cloud of the size of a, the palm. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? There is not in the sky a cloud the size of the palm of the hand. Huh? Here the words kadru rahatin, the size of the palm, resemble words denoting linear manage, measurement. Linear measurement. Words denoting linear measurement. Halindaka, halindaka, kisun. What is the meaning of kisun? Bag. If I say halindaka kisun, translation, brother, do you have a bag? You know? So the bag uh, itself denotes a quantity. Are you with me? The bag denotes a quantity. So then you will have to have a tamiz there. Okay. So what is it? Halindaka kisun dakikan. Have you got a sack of flour? Here the word kisun sack resembles a word denoting measure of capacity. The last one, brother. Then we inshallah take a break. Huh? Number four. This is for the Quran, brothers and sisters. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِفْكَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ What is مِفْكَالَ ذَرَّةٍ, brothers and sisters? Huh? Atoms weight. Huh? Atoms weight. Okay. Whoever does an atoms weight of good will see it. So مِفْكَالَ ذَرَّةٍ It is mudaf. Mudafilihi. But this mudaf, mudafilihi denotes what? Weight. It denotes what? Weight. So we have to have a tamiz. Because miskala zarratin, atoms weight of what? Then you have to bring tamiz. Eh? Inshallah, we take a break, brothers and sisters, and then we will continue, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. We are all fresh and re-energized, inshallah. Uh, we'll continue. So, once again, I tell you, brother, this and sisters, this lesson is quite easy, except for a couple of things, uh, which we will try to understand slowly, slowly. Uh, but when you'll read it, inshallah, it will become very, very clear to you. So, we continue from where we left. We read the sentence, so, miskala zarratin is mudaf mudafilihi, but this mudaf mudafilihi denotes weight. Huh? Okay? And therefore, we have to bring in the tamiz. Huh? Fine. These are the examples of tamiz zat. Everything that we studied so far refers to quantity. And that the quantity can be number, it can be linear me measurement, it can be measurement of capacity, or it can be weight. Huh? We have to remember that, inshallah. The next sentence is, Tamizu Zat. Remember, we are talking about Tamizu Zat. Huh? We are talking only about Tamizu Zat. May also be Majroor. Either because of the preposition min or because or because of its being mudafilehi. Istaraitu 
Mitran Harirang. This is our normal, brother, brothers and sisters. This is our, this is our normal. Huh? Now we can also say, you know, Ishtaraitu Mitran Min Haririn. So we brought Min and Haririn, so it became Majroor. But it is still Tamiz. Min Haririn is Jar Majroor Fi Mahali Nasbin Tamiz. Or you can say, Ishtaraitu Mitara Haririn. Meter of Silk, okay. But this rule does not apply to tamiz of number. Huh? Remember, the numbers have their own rules. What are those rules, brothers and sisters? 3 to 10, 11 to 99, and then after that, 100 and 1000. They have their own rules, and we know that, inshallah. Okay. Now comes another thing huh? two kinds of tamiz. Tamizu that, which signifies numbers, quantities. The next one is Tamizu Nisbati, Tamiz of relationship. Okay? It relates to something. It is used to specify and define an indeterminate idea contained in the whole sentence. Contained in the whole sentence. Hathuna hadha talibu khulukan. What is Hathuna? This is Bab Karuma. Remember? Karuma, it's verb. Huh? Where is the file? Hadha. And what is talib? Padan. Huh? This student became, you know, good. Okay. In what way? Khulukan. This student is good with regards to manner. Huh? So, Hulukan is your Tamiz. What will you call it? Tamiz Nispati. Okay? And whenever you will see, brothers and sisters, this is easy to remember. Are you listening to me? Whenever you will see Ismutaftil, comparative and superlative degree, the tamiz will come and it will, that tamiz will be tamizun nispati. Huh? Tamizun nispati. So it's very easy, inshallah, you'll be able to figure out. Huh? Now here, something else Dr. Sahib is explaining. These three sentences, four sentences, are only for our understanding. Huh? At this stage. Later on, you will master it. And you will be able to turn around the sentences by yourself. But at our stage of learning, I only feel that we should understand it and remember it. What is it, brothers and sisters? The tamiz can be construed as either the file or mafulun bihi of the sentence. Now here we have a tamiz, okay, which is mansu. But it can also be construed as if it is a file or as if it is a mafulun bihi. It means you can change the sentence around and make that tamiz into file or make the tamiz into it can become mafulun bihi, it can become file. So please understand it, okay? Hasuna bilalun hulukan. Bilal is good with regard to manners. Right. Can be construed as Hasuna Hulukul Bilalin. Huh? Bilal's manners are good. Before it was Hulukan, now it became a file. Hasuna Hulukul. Bilalin. Got the idea? Mudah, mudah, bilay. This is one possibility. As I said, brothers and sisters, inshallah, you will read it a few times and it will come to you slowly, slowly. This is only for us to understand. Later on, you will become strong and it will be within your graphs to change the things 
change the sentence around. Fajarna. Okay, this is from the Quran, brothers and sisters. Fajarna al Arda. We exploded the earth. Huh? Uyunan. What is Uyunan? Springs. Are you with me? It's the Jama of Ainun. Uyunun. Uyunan. That is your, what is Uyunan here? Tamiz. Huh? It is your Tamiz. Huh? Fajarna al Arda. Arda is your Bafulun Bihi. Huh? Okay. It can also be construed as Fajarna Uyunal Ardi. Got the idea, brother and sister? Uyunal Ardi. So before Uyunan was Tamiz, now it became Bafulun Bihi. So this is possible. There is a possibility of the sort of a change in the sentence. Okay. We have to remember one thing for sure. What is that, brothers and sisters? That this tamiz is always mansu. It cannot be majuru. Tamizu that can become majuru. Okay? But this uh, tamiz is always mansu. Huh? Okay. Now I am uh, going into the uh, next one, which is very simple. We are learning a new pattern of masta. Fu'lun. What is it? Fu'lun. Okay. This is very easy, brothers and sisters. Very easy. Make the master, you already know from book one, book two. Huh? Sure. Huh? Drinking. Huh? So, what is the pattern? Follow. Follow. Shakara Yashkuru. Shukra. That's the pattern, brother. That's it. Another very important. Uh, aspect is here, brother and sister. We have learned fellow tajib, huh? the verb of wonder. How have we learned so far? It is always starting with ma and then ajmala, akbara, aksara, huh? ma and then the verb, brother and sister. Ma ajmala nujuma. Uh, how beautiful the stars are. Uh, now it has got another form with the same meaning. The meaning does not change. Uh, the wonder is there. Exclamation is still there. Uh, and what is that? You make it into Amar. And you, and you use Hafjar after that. What did I say? You make that verb into Amar and after that you will have to use B. Fine. So, Ma Ajmala Nujum huh? can become change the Ajmala into Amar Ajmel. What will you say? Ajmel. And then you have got to bring the Harfchar. Bin Nujumi. Are you with me? It's very easy. Very easy. It comes in the Quran. Meaning does not change at all. Huh? So, the pattern is Afa'il Bihi. Afa'il Bihi. Huh? But if the, the noun is already there, then you will use B with that noun. For example, Ma Aksaran Nujuma. How numerous the stars are. Are you with me? Now remove ma and aksara, make it into amar. What will you say? Aksar, and then bring in harfchar b, bin mujumi. What is the meaning? Same meaning. How numerous the stars are. 
Huh? So this is another pattern of fellow ta'chub. Huh? Ma ajmala something and then ajmil huh? or afail and with harf char b. Huh? Ma afkarahu. How poor he is. Ma afkara who? Remember? We have done this before. Huh? So, afkara, make it amar. Afkir. And who is there? But we have to bring harfjar, be. So, what will you say? Afkir, be he. Khalas. The meaning is same. It did not change. And it is in the Quran. So, when you come across this sentence in the Quran, you know it signifies fi'alu uh, ta'chu. Inshallah. Both these forms have been used in the Quran. فَمَا أَسْبَرَهُمْ عَلَى النَّارِ How patiently they can endure fire. فَمَا أَسْبَرَهُمْ عَلَى النَّارِ Okay? Now this is the normal. What we have already learned before. But here is the new one. أَبْسِرْ بِهِ وَأَسْمِيَ How clearly he sees and how keenly he hears. I want you to look at this sentence, brothers and sisters, very carefully. The translation. How clearly. What is after that? He. Do you see he? What do you see in he? The H is capital. Why? This is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, sees everything clearly and hears everything keenly. Huh? Now you got to go back to this ayah in Surah Kaf and see uh, the other lines of the verse, you know. Gaibu samavati walardi. Allah knows the secrets. The, un, the things unseen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And then this comes, you know, how best Allah sees and how best Allah hears. It is in the Quran. So there are three lines before this. So if you read the whole ayah, you will get a clear picture huh, that we are talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this. Huh? So if you get an opportunity, Please look uh, this verse in Surah Kaf. You will love it, inshallah. You are going to enjoy it and you are going to understand that particular verse word for word. You will understand, inshallah. Absir bihi. You have seen Harjar B. But Asmiya, no B came because there is no need to repeat. It's understood to be there. Okay, brothers and sisters, now we go to the main lesson.